everyone, this is Rob back with another episode of my beginner guide for the um, DJI Mavic Mini. Okay, today we want I want to talk about something that's uh, near and dear to uh, all um, Mini pilots who um, are concerned that the uh, Mini doesn't have a lot of uh, manual settings on to correct um, you know shutter speed and um, ISO white balance things like that. Um, Okay, so uh, I'm going to start a screen recording here. I'm using the uh, the the Apple iPad Mini 4. All right, in this part of the video, we're going to show you how to use the uh, histogram and the EV exposure settings on the uh, Mavic Mini. Now, as you can see, I'm playing around over there on the uh, right hand side of the screen. Uh, you just uh, you know tap on that uh, EV. And you can move the settings uh, plus will make the video lighter and if you go downwards minus will make the video darker and you can see the histogram as I'm going along it's going it'll move from the uh, left side of the screen to the right as I'm making it brighter and you want kind of a even um, histogram now I have it way too bright here at a plus three setting as you can see we all have some white out in the screen and the histogram has gone all the way over I'm sorry it's partially blocked I should have moved it a little bit to the left but now as I'm moving it back down again see the screen darkens now we're back to the default of 0.0, .0 on the uh, histogram it looks just a slight bit dark in the in the room here as you can as you can see the histogram has moved more to the center now it's, it's nothing to the right now and then we're going to do a minus so we're making it darker and the histogram will be moving even more to the uh, right side of the screen um, as we get into our negative uh, exposure settings. Okay, here we're way too dark at minus two, and now we're down to minus three, and uh, it's very dark now. And what we're really doing here is, uh, this is really changing our shutter speed, too, even though we don't know what our shutter speed is, it is affecting our shutter speed here. So now we've uh, moved it, to, you know, um, moved it down a little bit, and uh, it's a little bit brighter now. But uh, it's still too dark, and the histogram still, you know, it's too, all, all the um, readings are to the left. We need to get that back to the right again. So um, there we go. Now that's probably a much better setting there. The plus, uh, plus uh, O3 EV setting kind of brightens up everything. So now I'm going to take off and pretend like I'm flying around the room here. I'm just, you know, picking the mini up with my hand and doing a pretend indoor flight. But as you can see, the exposure is pretty good for the whole room at this point. Um, you, know, uh, no, you know, no shadows, no dark areas. Uh, looks like we said we're properly exposed. Um, you know, the, the monitor looks good over there. Um, so this is replicating an indoor flight here without actually firing the, uh, the bird's uh, propellers up and, and moving it around. So, um, and as you can see, the, the EV looks, you know, really good or, or pretty good. Uh, the histogram has kind of moved to the, um, you know, was well centered there. Um, so, um, okay, now we've kind of tapped it off and we kind of just, uh, you, know, we kind of locked it in it, the right next to the EV setting to the, uh, the right is the AE that's auto lock. So when you find the proper exposure, you can, you can lock it in. And uh, I don't know if you noticed the bottom center of the screen. When we first started, the radar was uh, not working. It was like a red uh, thing there. Oh, but let me skip to this here. Now you can also move the gimbal up and down just by pressing and holding your finger on the screen. See, I'm now I'm pressing, holding, and we're moving it, moving it uh, the gimbal back up again. So... Uh, you know, that's, uh, you can do that, or you can also use the gimbal wheel on the uh, controller, but this is kind of a, another way to fine-tune it a little bit on your screen if your uh, wheel uh, is turning too fast, you know, on, on your controller. So uh, you can see our uh, histogram is kind of pretty much in the middle there, spiking in the middle, so that's good. I, I was saying before, if you look at the bottom of the screen, the radar, um, uh, thing wasn't working, but now it is. I, I don't know why it came on. It said 
uh, take off for a minute. So maybe we gain enough satellites finally. And I don't know what this unable to switch camera mode is. I'm trying to go into photo mode, but it's not letting me. So I hope this helped you learn a little bit about the histogram and uh, the EV mode. So um, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.